Hey guys, today we wanted to try to make a recipe that we found online called a homemade natural Viagra. Yeah, we wanted to see if it actually works. Yeah, so apparently it only has two ingredients, watermelon and lemon. Why watermelon, you ask? Because it consists of different nutrients. It has aphrodisiac properties, which includes the citrulline and the lysophene. Whatever those are. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start cutting the watermelon. And as you can see here, I'm stabbing it and... He's going to town on it. He yeah. does not want this thing to live and you shouldn't either. Look at that cross section, guys. That looks delicious. Dear God. Oh, we're going to eat this, uh, we're going to eat this whole thing. Yeah. I, I'm definitely planning on eating the whole thing. We're not wasting it, guys. Or should I say drink it? We, we're only going to use half of the actual watermelon for the Viagra. Viagra juice, date yeah. juice, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, the rest we're gonna go ahead and put away and put it in the fridge for later. Never forget, you need to clean as you go. Does watermelon give you the runs? Um, I don't know, I guess we'll find out, won't we? Mm. So here I'm just, I'm just cutting around, um, I don't know if this is the right way to cut a watermelon, but it's, it's the it just, yeah, way. Yeah, it felt, it felt right to me. Yeah, clearly I'm missing some of the white parts. And it does say that some of the white around, you know, the rind is actually good for the juice. It makes it even stronger. But, you know, it does taste like shit, so we really wanted to let, leave it out. Yeah. Mmm, put some frosting on it and call it a day. Here we're just cutting it into small pieces, and that's going to make it easier once we put it into the blender. <laughs> now, I've got a magic bullet. And you can use any blender that you like, but I find that it's just easier and quicker to use that. I, I don't have a big blender, but I it didn't need one. Yeah, it, I can use it for almost anything. I even make coconut butter with this. So just screw on the lid. The blade is part of the whole container. A little shake. Yeah, there it is. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, sometimes you gotta shake it a little bit, guys, because you know it can get stuck at the bottom. Let's go ahead and take that over to the oven. So now we're just going to go ahead and pour it in this regular pot. You can use any pot. You can even use a pan. But the point is you want to get at least a liter of this watermelon juice. So we're going to go ahead and make some more and then pour that in. Now we want to focus on the lemon while the actual watermelon juice is boiling. Or at least heating up at this point. So go ahead and cut that in half. And you can cut it any way you like. But I just cut it in half. I think it's, it's easy that way. And you want to make sure you remove all of the seeds. You don't want to choke on it. And those taste pretty terrible. Okay, so now we've got the lemon in the Magic Bullet container. And we're just going to go and blend that up. We only need a little bit anyway. Now there, there might be some chunks and stuff left over, so I just went ahead and pulled some of that out with my knife. You can use a strainer. That probably would have been the best way. Okay, so now you definitely want to check on your oven. You don't want to leave the watermelon running because... Wait, wait what? <laughs> okay, not running. You don't want to leave the watermelon boiling all by itself because it will boil over and make a mess on your oven. Yeah. And I just cleaned it, even though it doesn't look super clean, so you're welcome. Yeah, just like anything you boil, you don't want to just let it sit and boil, otherwise it's going to foam over. Yeah, maybe not put it on the highest setting, but maybe put it on five or six. And definitely keep an eye on it and keep stirring. Stirring is the key. And try to refrain from adding any other ingredients because the recipe calls for just watermelon and lemon. Now that it's starting to thicken up a little bit, we can go ahead and add the lemon juice. So we're going to go ahead and take that from the magic bullet, and we're just going to pour that right into the potion. The potion, the watermelon. The concoction. Now make sure you give that a stir. You want to get that all integrated into the sauce, the juice. And boil for another... Hmm, at least 10 minutes. You're probably going to boil for a total of... 15 to 20 minutes all together. We're gonna wait till it thickens even more, and when it's distilled about halfway from where you began, then you'll know it's finished. That was a close call there. Almost bowled over. Gee willikers, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> and now it looks like it's done. So we're gonna head and stick that in the freezer for a while to let it cool down. I thought he was gonna throw it on me, the way he's aiming that pot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now we're done, and we're going to go ahead and test it and see if it works. Now that you've seen our, our how to make this Viagra juice, yeah, we got it poured. It is ready to go. It smells like, actually, it smells like tomato sauce. Mm. Seriously, should I add salt, a little bit of olive oil, maybe some crushed garlic? He's going to be making his sort of gaddy. Clink it and sink it. Wow, horrible. It does taste like a 
natural herb of some kind of health juice. It is juicy and it's sweet, but it's chunky. I probably should have blended it longer. I don't know if I like the smell, but the taste is good. It's it's a bit off-putting just because honestly I've never had anything like it before. In the recipe, you're only supposed to drink two tablespoons of this to a third of a cup. So We've definitely had that already. Now, we're gonna go and relax for a couple hours and we'll come back and let you know what happened. Okay, so guys, we went ahead and finished off those drinks because we really wanted to get a good sense of, I mean, does this work or not? And uh, yeah, I think we have a conclusion. It does not. Not in the traditional sense here. We're, I did not get any special feelings in the nether regions. But I guess we can rule this one out this one has been debunked. I was really hoping this would work, because that would have been really cool. Not that we have any issues no. in that department. We don't. We're young stallions. Thanks for watching, and you know, you don't have to try this because it doesn't work, but. Does, did it taste good? Yeah, it was okay. I've had worse. I mean, it wasn't bad. That's true. Let us know in the comments below if you have another recipe you'd like us to try, because we're willing. Definitely. All right, see you next time.